Hey guys, all right. So here is the Honda today. Um, you're gonna hear bird noises, chirp noises, all sorts of stuff. There's nothing I can do. I don't got a garage. I'm outside. But 1996 Honda today RS, right hand drive. Um, it is automatic, but it's a key car, so it's okay. It's kind of cool. So here's some of the quirks and features and weird stuff. So power windows, manual door locks. That's kind of strange. Over here, what they would do in Japan, I guess, is they would make it for your paperwork. So right here, you'd have a folder, your like paperwork and stuff, kind of neat. Um, I don't think that's really a cup holder because it doesn't do anything. Um, some guy did have something drilled in right there uh, from Japan. I have the wooden piece to make like this little cup holder thing. It was really neat. I'm going to put it back in, but the guy that imported it here took it off. Uh, I'm going to put it back because I think it's kind of neat. It's quirky. It's the original owner of the car made it for this car. Sorry, car was driving by. Um, so I think that needs to go back on. I'll show you guys. Uh, it's in the trunk of my car, but I'm going to walk around the car first. So... It's super clean for a 96. And the RS has the wing, the rear bumper, um, the front lip. So yeah, check out the interior for a 1996. Like extremely clean. Steering wheel, dash. Like, and then right here, someone drilled, uh, not someone, the original owner drilled something right there too. I have the wood piece. So those are the only imperfections in the um, interior itself. It's just those two little spots, but I mean, it's clean. I got a McCoy bowl back there. Someone was supposed to buy it, they never met up. Yeah, thank you, offer up. So I gotta get that out of there, but extremely clean. All right, let's open the hatch real quick. And then we'll get back to the quirky stuff. The quirky, oh, well, actually there's a quirky thing in the back. So right here, a lot of people would assume that's a battery, but the key cars are so tiny, so small, they don't have a lot of room under, like underneath the hood, obviously. Um, so it's their power, uh, not power steering, it's their ABS. It's their ABS system. Isn't that crazy? So when you turn the car on, you could hear your ABS pump uh, turn on. It quiets down after a second, but you could hear it. It's kind of funny. And so that's a cork. Your ABS system's in the back of your car. But these were the wooden pieces that the gentleman who imported it took off. I think they're really neat. I really do. I think these need to go back on. I think I think they're neat. They're part of the car. And those are the original turn signals, which we have clear ones on it. This is still here, your uh, little cargo tray. The back seats are cool. I can't do it with one hand, but you push this and this, and right now it's inclined. So you're actually set back like that. Uh, you could put it forward. You could put it in three different positions. You could even lay it flat. So that's kind of quirky and neat. Yeah, I got to put that thing back on because I think I see why he did it. It's kind of cool. But um, all right, let's get back to the car. I'm going to go to the passenger seat because I have more room. So this car only has front speakers, right? Door speakers. But they still, you know, the radio, if you put it this way to the rear, you don't have any speakers in the rear. So you have no music. So you just keep it in the middle or forward. Um, so that's kind of quirky. Uh, I don't have the key on me or I turned it on. Anytime you put it in reverse, you have a chime. So that's kind of silly too. Pretty quirky. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's a cool, unique little turd of a car. But, uh, and gas mileage isn't as good as y'all would expect. Everyone, oh, like every time I pull up to a gas station or anywhere, everyone's like, oh, you got, I bet you get real good gas mileage. Believe it or not, because it is a key car and to stay, you know, 45, 55 miles an hour, your RPMs are somewhat higher up. Uh, 45, not so bad, 50, not so bad, but anything above that, your RPMs are pretty high up there. Um, and it drains your gas. Like you go uphill, you can watch your gas drain. You go downhill, you're good. But um, it's still really, really fun. It's unique. Like to go around town, you're fine. It costs like, you know, completely empty, like 30 bucks to fill up. Um, all right, sorry guys, I, my phone died. Uh, I try to do these all in one take, no editing, obviously, because I'm horrible at editing. So if I don't know where I left off, if it's just like cut and boom, picks up out of nowhere, I apologize. But yeah, so I think it was the quirky stuff. It was um, the paperwork right there for the glove department thing, but it's not glove department. Your glove department's right here. Pretty neat. 
look super crazy. Um, the front speakers, the door chimes, not door chimes, the reverse chimes, and then the ABS system being in the back. That's pretty silly. So, but yeah, 1996 Honda today. I mean, my opinion for 1996 it's super clean I wish I could zoom out more but I can't and then these stickers right here on the side I found replacements I haven't ordered them yet as soon as I get the extra I'm gonna order them and replace those stickers um, the 14 inch rims instead of them being 12s uh, that they came off of the Civic there was wheel spacers added um, I am trying to find I think they're 14s or I want to say they're 14s they're like on the HX uh, model of a Civic like like a 93 like an EG Civic uh, I can't remember what they call the rims uh, like I, I'll post a picture of it I'll add it to this video but those are what I am looking for but once again extremely clean for 1996 my opinion I've, I mean shoot this is a 2011 in it was kind of clean but yeah my 97 Integra over there is nowhere near as clean as this thing I need to get pictures of them together and on the next video, I will show you guys the motor, and I'll show you what was deleted. It's the air intake canister thing. Um, a lot of people delete those. Um, me, personally, I would have left it alone. Uh, that's just me, but it was deleted in Japan, so it is what it is. Nothing I could do about that. But super good-looking car. Original paint, original interior. Um, headlights look great. Like, this car is such a great example. Like, I... I had so many ideas. I have a really high horsepower motor I'm putting in my Integra that I'm like, dude, how cool would it be to put it in the uh, rear hatch of this, make it real drive and, and have a crazy uh, key car built. But then this key car is so dang clean, so nice. And the only RS registered in the United States, I don't have the heart to cut it up. So I think honestly, either I'm going to keep it and just enjoy it, or I'm going to go ahead and list it for sale trade or something um and let someone else do whatever they want with it because it's so nice like i'm just like i don't know if i want to modify it or do anything else to it or just leave it alone uh maybe find those wheels like i said because it'd make it look nice since the stock wheels aren't on it oh and those lenses were what were changed out but uh jdm part on a jdm car that's kind of funny <laughs> so yeah no super cool sorry i ramble um excited just want to show you guys how clean this thing was and hopefully me holding the phone sideways helps i don't know if not then i'm gonna to have to do it the opposite way next time we'll find out well if you guys have questions about the car feel free to ask in the comment section um if you hate this video because i do ramble it's cool you can leave me a, a thumbs down i'm good with that um if you enjoy just you know the walk through the walk around not really a review not just showing it to you guys. Like, if you guys are interested in importing a rad key car, uh, this is an option. You can get them fairly inexpensive imported. Um, when they're already here, people do ask, you know, a lot more money. Um, not sure what I'm gonna ask. I'll probably just entertain offers. Um, if I go to sell it or trade it, um, I gotta make my mind up. It's just too nice to me to not have it in a garage like it, it's extremely clean and I, I really do want either I got to empty one of my trailers and put it in my trailer or uh, go get a freaking storage unit or something because I don't want it to sit in the elements it's too clean it really is like I'm enjoying it but it's it's too clean well hope you guys enjoyed the video um, yeah later okay so these are the OEM wheels I'm talking about they were on like the HX um, uh, EG hatchback or the coupe. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was an HX uh, wheel. Uh, when I pull it up, that's what wheel comes up as this style wheel. This is the rim I want. 189 for me is way too much each. Um, but then again, these are brand new on eBay, so that's probably not a bad deal. Uh, I'm hoping to find a used set that might need a little bit of elbow grease maybe some powder coating something like that uh you know in the 150 200 range i know that's probably a lot to ask for these days because everything got more expensive but anyways uh, i'm gonna stop rambling those are the rims i'm adding it to the end of the video like i said i think they would look smoking on that little car like powder coated 
maybe that gunmetal that's already on the steel wheels, maybe a white um, would be dope, uh, but I'm not too sure yet. I do want to find them first. So yeah, they will fit, they will work with the spacer though. You guys have to have a spacer if you guys are going to put um, 14s on a key card. You have to have a small spacer um, because the back spacing is off a little bit. Just a warning, all right? Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I am so sorry for my rambling. Um, yeah, have a good day, guys. Later.